today is all about spreading acts of kindness. I love my community so much and I just really wanted to figure out a way to give back. Our storytellers have found incredible people from across the country who are lending a hand. I just love the fact that they thought of something creative that everyone can do. And putting their communities first. Some people have to go through hard times alone. They just want them to know that, you know, there's somebody here and that their neighbors care about them. Come discover the joy in giving back. And to have people who are fortunate enough to bless their things onto you is just, it's really incredible. I'm your host, Michelle Macaluso, and this is Good To Know. I want people to hear the story and I want people to be inspired and to know that they can get through hard times too. The small things can really, I'm going to tear up again, the small things can really affect someone. They can really make their day, make them feel like, cool, someone noticed me, someone cares. It's nice to see what young people are doing positively in the world to make it better. It warmed my heart and you brought a tear to my eye, a happy tear. My hope is that it brings them hope. In all of the hectic and crazy of the world right now, find something that really gets you grounded and centered in your life so that you're coming from a space of peace. Our first act of kindness comes from a woman in Wisconsin whose fruitful idea is feeding her community. I think people are hurting. Just one reason why Gina Nigro opened a small shop with big hopes. Welcome to Greater Good MKE. So we're just a teeny tiny little neighborhood pay what you can produce store. This retired flight attendant wanted to offer neighbors in need a place to connect and pay what they could afford for fresh food. Neighbors have been coming in. Some have paid more, some paid less. Some have come back with recipes that they made with uh, fruits and vegetables that um, they'd never seen before. <laughs> and so far, positive reaction from neighbors. Clients love this option to get or share healthy food. It's a shop that feels warm and inviting. Amazing feedback. Yeah, the church across the street from me gifted me some money to help pay for my rent. Nigro thought about this concept after volunteering at local food pantries. They offer such a good, you know, service to our community. The one thing that they don't have is fresh produce. Fresh produce is hard to navigate. And Greater Good MKE gives respect to those in need. I just think it offers a different um, kind of dignity to people that are coming in. Some people pay a little bit more, some people pay a little bit less. Nigro says she was motivated by a higher power. He kind of just started opening doors for this. I had kind of an idea in my mind and then he just started opening doors and asking me to step through. It was a tragedy in her own life that made Gina Nigro more determined to lift others. About 10 years ago, um, my husband died suddenly and um, my world pretty much came crashing down. I was surrounded by people of faith, people who loved me and helped the boys and me get back on our feet. I've learned that God is my rescuer. <laughs> and she's always remembered the wisdom of her husband's mother. My mother-in-law was the one that told me, you know, this can make you bitter or this can make you better and you'll have that choice. Nigro's choice is clear. She was made better as she extends love to all. Some people have to go through hard times alone. And I just want them to know that, you know, there's somebody here <laughs> and that their neighbors care about them. I know it's just fruits and vegetables, but I think it's more than that. I want them to know that God loves them. If we can offer just a little bit of hope here that there's a better story that um, people will and want to share what they have. Um, for their neighbors, that it's worth it. <laughs> so far, I can see I can see God working. Acts of kindness often come when you least expect them, but when you need them the most. 
Katie Shetley thought it'd be like any other shopping trip to her Target in Santee until she realized her credit card wasn't going through at the register. I had to pull over to the side of the cash register to, you know, figure it out. And then I, once I did, I got back in line. The cashier finished up with the woman ahead of me. The cashier told me she put a gift card towards my purchase. The woman she now refers to as the masked stranger was already gone. But Katie knew the feeling she had at that moment wouldn't wear off anytime soon. Just the small things like can really, I'm going to tear up again. The small things can really affect someone. They can really make their day, make them feel like, cool, someone noticed me. Someone. She said the woman could probably tell it was a rough day, just one in what for many has been the roughest year. Katie was coming off a day of homeschooling that fully tested her patience. To homeschool our boys, two boys, seven and nine. And then because we're already staying home, I watch was watching my friend's daughter and homeschooling her. She also recently returned to work and luck wasn't on her side there. I tore my ligament in my back. So I had, I was back, back on bed res, back home. But that day at Target, a stranger hit the bullseye. Katie was surprised, grateful, and is now on a mission to pay it forward. If I see someone struggling like I was, you know, like maybe if they forgot their card at home or their purchase was a little larger than expected, then I would love to be able to step forward and help them with that. She said it's also a simple reminder that you never know what someone, even that person beside you in line, is going through. We can help each other. We can send that message to saying that like we care. We don't know what's going on in their head and make that little message of just like there's other people out there who care about you. It might really, really change their perspective. Kendall founded the Kendall Foundation last October. She'd been involved in fundraising before, but knew during the pandemic that she needed to try something new. We had to think outside the box, and um, I love my community so much, and I just really wanted to figure out a way to give back. She remembered being a new mom with kids at the ABC Child Care and Learning Center. I struggled in the beginning, and I just know what it would have felt like if someone came along and just wiped the slate clean for me. So that's exactly what she did for 11 other families. It was a huge weight lifted off my shoulders. Zachary McKendry is one of the 11 parents on the receiving end of Kendall's generosity. They paid my 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 past due balance, which was uh, like $500. And um, they also provided me with an additional 12 weeks. He says all he did was write a letter. It was just basically my story, you know, uh, how I'm a single father of two and how times have gotten tough. Kendall ended up donating more than $16,000 to pay off the accounts, and she even set them up for a few more months, a gift Zachary says he'll never forget. It's been a very trying time, not for me, but for many people. And to get any sort of help like that, it was, it was, it warmed my heart and you brought a tear to my eye, a happy tear. Kendall says she has a lot more coming up for her foundation, including a fundraiser for local children's hospitals. A simple act of kindness in Tennessee blossomed into a message of hope for many. People don't remember shelters and, you know, the people that are struggling. Totally unexpected. Boxes stuffed with tulips were delivered to Nashville Rescue Mission's women's shelter. Being given a bunch of flowers to give out to the women, I mean, that's really rare. They're for International Women's Day from Petals for Hope. Estella, would you like some tulips? Even the rescue mission says while deserved, it's not this group that usually gets recognized. You God bless you. God bless you. You know, we all need a little bit of brightening up in our lives. 100 bouquets did just that on Monday. They really um, uplift, strengthen, and support these women that are on an incredible journey. The timing of the surprise delivery may actually have been perfect. I mean, from the tornadoes to COVID, we are uh, seeing women um, maybe struggle for the first time or come to a place in their lives where this just tipped them over the edge. Many working to get past addiction, job loss, or a bad relationship will continue to do it privately. Here you go, beautiful. All right. Thank you. But this outside acknowledgement might help them blossom. 
the change in the lives that we see here and the lives that are saved, it's an incredible place. We're just getting started. We have more acts of kindness ready to be discovered. Before I got involved here, I never realized what people really need and how you gotta help the community and give back. Um, I guess that's what it's taught me more than anything. You've gotta give back. Come see how a project to keep busy turned into a life lesson about helping others. It's good to know.